Check one, two. Testing, testing. Welcome to another episode of the Ladies Pitch Podcast. A controversial podcast where choosing violence is always the answer. Please welcome. Please welcome. Here are your hosts, Haiti Baby, Lexi the Savage, and Durag Daddy. Woman behavior is a lot of that shit is natural for y'all. It's part of nature. You know, uh, y'all just gravitate to a certain breed of men. That j- it just falls into your nature. Felons. That's really what it is. Whether you like it or not, it's like. And the thing is, y'all know these niggas is fuck niggas, but y'all still want it. Y'all still go for it. This is the why? Eli I like. Ask, ask yourself why, because mm-hmm. it's in your nature. It's in your. I'm not gonna say it's in your genes, but let's just say yeah, that I'm it's like in your OD fucking genes. Yeah. Like, Taking it to science. Sure, cause my mama can fight. Her mama can, nah, <laughs> but, don't do that. <laughs> but that ass, it's just, it goes back. Like, if, but think this of, is when weird. I say nature, hold on, when I say nature, I mean deeper than that. Like, I mean, like, you see this shit in other species. Like, it falls deep. Like, <laughs> you be seeing, when you see, like, the woman of, of, of tigers or even gorillas or whatever, they gravitate to the stronger, the mm-hmm. dominant man. He could treat her like shit, but she wants that. You see that shit. It really falls out for me. But you know, but it's just we're able as humans to produce ideas and th- and think about certain things and add value to things. So that I think that's what fucked the, like it fucks a lot of shit up. Y'all tend to put value on certain things that is just natural to happen. But you know, and y'all want it to be different. You can't change nature, son. You really can't. Facts. That's why a lot of people go through the same fucking bullshit. It's, it's right. natural All to right. have. Is this thing on? Yeah, take a shot. It really is. No, you drink it. Take a shot. In in my take defense, we started. In my nah. defense, we started recording very like abruptly. So what? No intro. So nothing. What? We went straight into the shits. Facts. Because we were having a long conversation. Facts. It was Patreon content that we didn't even record. Like we really got. This is for the. This is for the fun. For the very, fun of it. very deep into certain topics that we will not get into. Right but now. the whole point, <laughs> see, we kind of circled back. Well, I'm going to circle it back because the whole point is I'm saying that I feel like men nowadays, they hate women. They hate we women. They, 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 listen, yeah, receiving hold it on, different. hold, hold yeah, on. My Let bad, me finish. My bad, my bad, my bad. Why I'm saying that is because I tend to see a lot of social media posts, a lot of, um, you know, tweets or whatever, where men are starting, you know, men are saying like, oh, women, for example, Perfect example, B, earlier today, somebody tweeted that if you're fucking with a man that cannot help you, they don't know why you fucking with him. Or can't do nothing. Or can't do any, okay, can't, can't do, do anything, anything for, for you. you. Nothing for you. Nothing. Why can't, why are you fucking with him? And there was like a bunch of men on there, oh, why y'all always need help with something? Women always want something. This and that. And it's like, bro, she literally said nothing about nah, financial nah, help. Yeah, because there was a lot of that. More of that than why do this and why do that or why do... It was a whole bunch of of what happened to independent women and this, that, and third. It was a whole bunch of... Monetary, what happened? Somebody monetary. tweeted. What happened to the women that Destiny's Child was yeah, talking about? This is not the 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 women Destiny's Child was talking about. Shit like that or whatever. It was just like they were showing the asses or whatever. And I re I requoted the 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 tweet or whatever because I I went through the shit. I, I'm a comment creeper, so I went through the shit and it was like a lot of dudes were showing the ass where it was like monetary. It was just money shit, money shit, money shit, money shit. And I'm like, those are the dudes that leave with money and then get their heart broken because shorty took all their money. Ma, 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 ma. You know what I'm saying? Like, where, where? This is always <laughs> thing, yeah. My bad. I'll give myself a little round of applause. But it's, it's a fact because nowhere in that tweet did shorty say anything about the help. Financial was, help. Yeah, financial help. It just said help. And I was like, yo, she never even said anything about that. Like, the help could have been like, yo, help move the stove for me. Right. So I could, I could clean behind the stove. Help type me up of with shit. the groceries. Help like, me upstairs with help the me groceries. Move this, uh, help me melt this TV. And I said that help comes in many forms. Like, all the dudes that's talking about money is the ones that lead with money. And those are the ones that really get their heart broken or feel like mad bitter towards women or like treat women in a certain. Treat, they, treat women that. Treat women a way they don't want their moms treated. 
And this was a conversation I had with E because I actually made this statement to you before E. I was like, yo, men hate women. And I feel like men, I hate, they hate women more because of the way that a lot of, I'm not going to say all, all women because I'm not going to generalize it all to all women, but because of the way a lot of women move. A lot of the oh. city girls. <laughs> But the way a lot of women move where, you know, they want to just fuck with men for money for whatever reason. But it's like, yo, if you don't like that type of women, then you don't have to fucking deal with them. Period. If if you keep attracting that type of woman, that says something about you. Facts. Talk that shit. And that's a you problem. Talk that shit. So why are you going on social media bashing women that use men for money? Papi, you don't fall into that fucking category because you don't spend money on women. Facts. That's it. It's like me going around and talking shit about women that sleep with married men. I don't fall into that category, so I'm not going to talk shit about I don't sleep with married men, so I don't fall into that fucking category. She's on fire. I feel like, I feel like <laughs> It's like you're so mad about something that you don't even have the fucking financial... The, right, the, the, the financial You don't have the means. right to have opinion you don't, on yeah, it. Yeah, you don't even have a... You can have you an can opinion, you can't but an opinion, opinion is like an <laughs> asshole. Everyone has one. Facts. So... But your opinion is not worth you know what anything. It is? Like so your bank I account. I feel like a lot of niggas like to portray themselves as that nigga. That nigga. Oh, every nigga want to be that nigga. Yes. Like imagine B talking about, let's just say hypothetically speaking, he talking about all the bitches he's fucking. Bro, and I came out of nowhere and be like, yeah, bro, I've had this and that and that and that. And that's never been the case. It's because every dude, they want to be portrayed as that dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So even if your finances ain't there and you talking shit on Instagram, like you got it like that. Talking about, oh, females want this and that. Nigga, you can't even give the female what she's asking for. That's not even a woman that fits in your league. Exactly. And they they trying (laughs) to portray themselves. Like, every nigga's like to hide behind a curtain sometimes. Like, be yourself. That's another thing. Be yourself. You get a lot further. That shit brings a lot of results, to be honest. Just be Be yourself yourself. and be confident. Men, ladies, I'm going to put my ladies in there too. What? Stay in your fucking lane. Stay in your lane. Don't try to like date outside your lane. Nah, don't I, try I'm not to even say stay that. if you lack the confidence right. to date outside of your go, lane. Go, 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 don't go. do it. All right, cool. There are a lot of men I like that like I said. No, this is what I said in the group chat. There are a lot of men that are butt fucking ugly, right? And ugly is subjective. You said that mad times. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of men that are butt fucking ugly, but they have the confidence. A guy confidence, right? They're able to pull women simply off that fucking confidence, and they can date the most beautiful and woman in the world. Hold on, and being who they are with that confidence, exactly. Because don't don't try to play somebody else, and then try to have right. confidence with trying to play somebody but you else. Be a complete dickhead, exactly. Mm-hmm. Women so, date confident dickheads bad. every day. I needed that caveat, and, and <laughs> that falls into the nature. Confident we dickheads like, every day. Well, well let them know not nature. to, Haiti. Let them know not to. Go ahead. And you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, there are certain things that a confident man that knows himself, an emotion intelligent man, a smart man, that they can get away with. That a motherfucker that's you know, uh, lacks the, the fat uh, nigga can uh, do ugly, this. fat, you know, nothing, to, no fat, fat toe. What is it? No fat, fat shame. Here. Yeah, no, no fat, no, no, fat shame. None of that. We love fat bitches and fat but niggas just here. But for, just for context, like, pause. There are certain things that they cannot get away with. They lack the, the self esteem, the confidence, or whatever to get away with. <laughs> and those are the men that are talking shit about the type of women. And how they behave and how they move and how they decide to live their lives. Like, bro, that woman is, is totally out of your league. She ain't even for you. She ain't looking for you, my she nigga. She ain't even looking your way. So why are you worried radar. about what she's doing? You're not on a Doppler. And that's, <laughs> and that's what irks me. Yeah. That's what irks me. There's a me. lot of niggas out there. But you know what it is? We, we see a lot more of that because of social media. But Yeah, facts. But before, before social media was like that, like prop, dudes was probably... What living like this and and feeling like this, just not adapting it to their lifestyle so for whatever true. reason or whatever. And guys like rest in peace, Kevin Samuels gave them the insight on yo, you are worth more than what you think you're worth, bro. And 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 I get it. He was bashed a lot. Again, rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. He was he was that guy. Ha. Allegedly, uh, he, nah, he was that guy because he shitted on <laughs> niggas and do it. There was no, yeah, facts. there was no like 
He wasn't just, yeah, he wasn't just shitting on women or whatever. He started shitting on dudes or whatever. So you could, I don't like the whole, when you say don't date out your league or whatever, because it's like shoot or shoot. They told, Shooters also they, miss. They, hold on. They told, they told Steph Curry, don't shoot from 40 feet away. Steph Curry's the best 40, 40 foot shooter ever. He's the best three point shooter ever. Period. Why? Because he was confident that he will make that basket. Yeah, and, but, and, and this is what go, I'm though, telling you. There, there we go. We can't. That's ignore, exactly where I was going with it, though. We can't ignore individuality. Like, let's say I got two badass females, right? Mm, and that's women. probably out of my league. I'm this hit ass nigga. Like, I, there's no way they'll go for me, right? I try my shot. Maybe one will work out because her as an individual, maybe she's a person that likes me for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shoot your shot. And you Who did your, you did your hair. You put the right cologne yeah. on. You know how many ugly ass niggas I know with the baddest Bad. females? Bro? Yo, they I shot, sh- they shot. I know. And that girl likes his personality. But you're word. saying you're saying it from the guy's perspective, right? But I'm talking about a certain type of woman. What type so of woman? a woman that Specify the type of woman. Okay, the type so of woman, ran in, ran the kind of materialistic woman. woman. Okay, that she's all about. You know what I'm saying? What the you bag. could do for her? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that she's basically just gonna really just use you for your money, and that's it. Like she's not gonna, she's not gonna, um, you know, like an al- an alpha female type of woman. That's a materialistic woman. She's all about what she can get from you for the moment. That's mm-hmm. it. So I understand that you bash that type of woman, right? Men bash that type of woman. All day on social media. We have to swerve those. That's fine. Women. That's fine. But exactly, you don't have. Don't, don't worry about it. If you don't like that type of woman, you don't want to date that swerve type of woman. It. You don't see long term relationship with that type of woman. Skirt. That's all you got to do. Swerve. Facts. You don't got to worry about that. Facts. But best believe that there's going to be other men down the line that's willing to do for her what you don't want to be. What you don't want to do for a woman. Or what you can't. You know do what I'm saying. For a woman. So that's my thing. She it's want like, Louis Vuittons if you can only afford it. So in a way, I feel like <laughs> the men are mad that they really, you know, that a lot of men are mad that they really can't pull. I've seen that. That type of woman. I've seen that. Now that you introduced me to the Twitter world, I see a lot more of that. That's what I'm talking more about. Than, I see that shit on I, every I, I day. I comment creep on, on Instagram for years. I've been comment creeping on Instagram. I'm a, I'm a professional comment creeper on Instagram. But now that you introduced me to Twitter, I'm seeing a lot more of what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing a lot more, and I'm going to say entitled men, quote unquote. Entitled men. And it, and it seems like to me that those are the men that lead with money mm-hmm. and end up getting their heart broke by, by one of these city girls. And the <laughs> next thing you know, every woman is like that, and they start treating every woman like that or... Or maybe they, from the jump, had a mommy issue. A lot of women don't even ask that question, which is, I've been dating for a long time. Well, and I'm dating because I don't date, you know. Been like, fucking for a long time. I've been fucking, fucking, fucking and finding out. And I'm, I'm going to fucking find this out. <laughs> um, that's a not a, that's not a question that. that's, that has ever been asked to me. How is your, how is your relationship with your mom? Women don't ask that. That'll that tell you, important and too. that'll tell you a lot about that man. If you ask about his relationship with him and his mom, but this goes back to the conversation that we were having before the recording. Okay. That all falls Off under air. the me- yeah. That goes that falls under the same umbrella of mental health. People don't tend to ask those questions. They don't tend to ask like, I "How was your up- mental health question?" Because though. that goes that ties back to your I, I, upbringing. I, I, yeah, you're right. You're right. It does. It does. Your it does. upbringing. Right. How were you're you right. brought up? That's all part I of your mental corrected. health, bro. You know yeah, what I mean? I so corrected. a lot of people, like I said, nowadays they advocate for mental health. Back then, they did it. It was taboo. It was a stigma. Was, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, you know, and older people don't even like you bringing. And we, and especially us that we're minorities, we're Hispanics. We grew up in a Hispanic household. It was more like. Ah, deal with it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Oh, deal with it or move on. Get over it. Get over it. So, you know, you meet other people. You kind of like learn how you didn't. You never really get over it. You kind of just learn cope. how to cope that and Haiti move talk. through life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Haiti so those it, those questions are not important when you meet someone and you see a long-term future with. But those because are, And a lot of people have like. Those they are, wear masks, everyday masks, and we tend to think that but, they're okay. But those are the questions you need to ask. I do those. I 
Anybody, now we do I'm, because mental health is embraced a lot more now, B, than I've, before. No, I've been, I've been doing this since you can ask HR. I, that's a question I've been asking since since young. I'm like, oh, I see. so now I know what type of woman you are, depending on your ideology on whatever. Whatever I ask you, whatever I ask you, you're telling me a lot without telling me much. Because if you do ask a girl a question, oh, how is your relationship with you? Oh, it's all right. Uh, she, uh, my pops ain't shit. And it might be like talked about and just like, just like brushed off or whatever. But that brush off says a lot. Like there's a disconnect between you and your pops. Like so that there's going to be a disconnect between me and you somehow, some way. I don't know where. I don't know why. I don't know when. There is going to be that disconnect because there's a disconnect between you and your pops. And women gravitate to women who resemble their pops. I don't think that's... A, honestly, I think that's a good question. But I think that's only a fair question when it's coming from a healed person. I don't want to heal anyone that... I don't want to hear that question from anyone who's unhealed. Maybe if I you have your own together, trauma though. and you have your own baggage, don't come to me with that question. Maybe the, that question is just, I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm not on either any side of this. Maybe they're asking that question because they're looking for answers themselves. And if you provide answers, if you open up, if you show vulnerability, they might do the same in return. And then that opens up a different chapter in y'all, okay. in y'all com- whatever y'all are, you know, your situationship. And it's, it's big. So, I, like I said, I've asked HR since jump. I've been asking that question. He's another one who does the same thing. He'll ask that question, and we know how to, we know how to circumvent that now because you didn't answer it the way I, I, I would like or how I would want. I don't want to deal with that. If you mm-hmm. haven't dealt with that, I don't want to deal with that because you don't even know how that's to deal with That's a lot to deal with. It's a lot to I got shit to deal with myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... That's a question women, a lot of, I've noticed women don't ask at all. Mm-hmm. Another question when they court in men is like, if you have a girl, they don't even ask that shit nowadays. Like, they just Yo, be, that's true. <laughs> they just be going in full flesh at first, dive in. And men don't ask whether a girl has a man either. That's not my problem. I don't, I don't th- care. <laughs> that's not my problem. I don't go fuck. They don't care. You you handle that on your own yeah, time. Yeah, they don't. Boy, they never ask. number two. Don't be asking them you got a man. Is that a question that you ask? Like, how's your relationship with your parents? Yeah. You've asked in the past. Niggas a logical dude right here. You talking to nah, Eli, Eli here, nigga. Who you talking about? <laughs> like, I feel like, and you know this about me. Yeah. Like, like, yo, bro, and she could back this up. There's a lot of stuff I said about certain people that was facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. Like, and that's all based on just small things they've done. Like, just the littlest thing you could do could tell me a lot about you. Mm-hmm. You know facts. what I'm saying? That's a fact. Littlest thing. What you say. Have you paid attention? You you pay yeah. attention. Even and your it, cadence and when you talk about somebody, yeah. like... Yeah. Yeah, my fault. I didn't mean... No, nah, it's all good. But, so like, good. That, that just but adds yeah. to it. Like, mm-hmm. just even how you and speak about And I'm always usually somebody. accurate. I'm always usually accurate, bro. Like, a lot of people come back to me, damn, nigga, you was right. I get tired of hearing that shit sometimes. Like, I feel like, like logical people are, or emotionally intelligent individuals are a lot more observant I feel than like people that are not. did a lot of self-searching. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Soul searching. Yeah, like they know who it's they important, are. bro, because you could apply yourself to the rest of the world. Like yes. I could apply me to you. To the real world. You know what I'm saying? I could look at myself and see how you move and see if we have similarities or th- and differences and all other shit, and that could determine how I'm gonna move I'm with move you. Move with you, yeah. You know, that, that's how you have to look that's at a, a lot fact. of things. That's a fact. That shit helps. That shit helps with a lot. That shit helps with understanding one another. That shit helps with dealing with a beefs we have. Like if me and you break out into a fight. Helps because with- of how I view things and understand things in our relationship, we could deal with that shit. But if I don't have that view or understanding, we're going to stay beefing. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's how I go through life, bro. That's why it's, you know, it's kind of hard to, even though that bitch at work pissed me off. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, um, we don't use the W word out yes. here too much, word. but I apologize. I apologize. Word. But, Unless it's women, but yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of hard to get under my skin because it's just like I, you know you're very chill, you're yeah, a very chill and individual, it, and it's also because I have that understanding between uh, I was me about and, to the, say that. and the individuals I'm talking to, like or once just I pick the world. up how you are, I get things and I move accordingly. And, you know? Did you take up uh, psychology in school? I did as a um, 
as a fuck. God don't, damn. don't be showing off, nigga. I'm a high school dropout <laughs> over here. You heard? Big years, bro. <laughs> oh, there we go. As an elective, I did. As an okay. elective. So it wasn't a major class at first, but it, it was a lot of insight on certain things. Um, and it gave me a good understanding on not not only about myself, but on what it is on being like what it means being human. Human. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of things we talking about now, talking about women this and man this, applies to both genders, bro. It's human behavior. Niggas, niggas ignore it. And niggas like to, you know, make things exclusive. Yes. Oh, women are like this. A lot of niggas a are like that too, are bro. Like that to you know what I'm saying? So it's talk like. Talk it. That's a fact. You're right. But people ignore that shit. You're so right. once you have an understanding that this is just human interaction, it's not about female versus one, uh, female versus male. Take a it's shot. Just, yeah, I heard that shit. Take a shot. I'm no, sorry. You heard, heard that right? mic. Yeah, it works. <laughs> we got different rules over here once now. Once you have that understanding, that's not what it's about. It's like we're not at war with each other. We we want the same, nigga. Mm, we you want peace. Saying? There's only certain things that makes us different. But once we have that understanding, I think things will be better. But I think that's why there's a big fucking divide between women and fe- women and males. And there will always be that divide because women <laughs> are women <laughs> and men emotional creatures are men. Yeah, exactly. Always gonna be a certain we're always going to be gonna looked at as providers, hunters. Protectors, That's not so on change. and so forth. That's not, not going to... Because which, why? It's part of our nature. It's part of nature. That's how it's been since the beginning. Right. We see it in the animal kingdom. Or you know what I'm saying? How things move. Like, it's part of our nature. Toxic moment. So when a nigga cheat on you, you know what I mean? It's just <laughs> part of human nature. No, <laughs> no. Even though it's toxic, I, I get it. Know. I understand. But it's dead ass true. It's, it's dead ass true. Like, sometimes that's just man instincts. We're... Like, we're we're, we're hunting. Why do you think the fact that it happens? It happens. People need to understand that. Why the fuck it happens? Niggas always want to fight against things, but why does it happen? Think it's about that. Why does it happen? Because it's natural. Like it, it just happens. Yeah, I think monogamy. Mon- I don't know if I'm saying it right. Monogamy. You think that's human nature? Monogamy is a curse. That shit was just a, a don't deflect. A don't deflect. The actual don't specific use the M word. Question. It's a form of control. That's why there's more divorces than successful marriages. Facts. It's way more and I don't think that's human nature. Monogam- I don't think monogamy is human nature. Say monogamy five, three times. Monogamy, fast. monogamy, monogamy. Look at the look at the lion. <laughs> that hey. the king of the jungle. That nigga got multiple females. Multiple women. Multiple. He said multiple women. Yo, and you know what's crazy? <laughs> multiple you know lionesses, crazy? my man. Let's just say a lion women. pulls up in the territory that's not his, and he sees a lionesses with a baby. He will kill that baby, baby and guess what happens? The, he the lioness, her. He gonna the fuck lioness her. will submit to him and bend down. Ready yes. to have sex again, so and he will breathe. impregnate her. Mm-hmm. Lion! Like, <laughs> okay, you bro. see a lot of that kind of behavior even in human men. Like, you, you what see? dosa and that beast? I'm sorry, my man. Lion! I felt the Cali coming out of me, my Jesus nigga. Christ. <laughs> but he's 20, right. min- 20 minutes in, let me introduce the podcast. Right, this word. is a ladies' pitch podcast. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We abruptly started this episode. We were passionately having a discussion behind the scenes. We hit the record button to bring you guys. You ain't answer my question, content. but go ahead. We're gonna get back to it. This is your favorite mommy, Haiti baby. We have a uh, guest here again, family of the podcast. Family, Eli say it correctly. And city. Family. <sighs> yes. And city girl correspondent yeah. Fister. <laughs> That was a loud ass sigh. That was doing things to me. Word. (laughs) Anyways, if you don't know who this is by now, that means you hear me and you're not listening. It sounds like a fucking personal problem. This is the BBW ambassador. Emphasis on the ass. You give me, he gives me one job and doesn't <laughs> allow doesn't, me to like. Cause you're looking at your phone, anyways. Also known as the do rag daddy. Emphasis on the D's. Our perfect, our uh, imperfections is our perfections. Shout out to Smoke Dizzle on that. But go ahead, we here. Yeah, man. So we were having a very passionate conversation about you know mental health, about gender, men, women, and. Monogamy. Monogamy. <laughs> what was your question? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think monogamy is human nature. Like, like. I think monogamy is a social construct. Okay. Yes, I agree. I, and, and how you do act, we, oh, wait, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. You first. No, because he actually had a question when we were on our way here in the Uber. And he was asking me. <laughs> I fucking forgot. <laughs> what was it? You forgot your question? Yeah. All right. So you asked me if I was able to share a man. Mm. Mm. If it was possible. And I was like, 
That's a good question. Thank yeah. You. Shout out to Eli for asking that question. Would you be able to? Woo, that's a he good was question. like, yo, would you be able to share a man? And then I'm like, I was thinking about it. And then he went a little further and he was like, yeah, like, you know, you guys all, all you know, be together or date one another, the mm-hmm. three of you, like to share that man. Oh, I remember. And I said, yes, I, I'll be okay with it. So mm. the reason I was asking, because we didn't get to get, more, you know, really into it. I was saying, okay, so I know a lot of problems arise when, let's say, the man is showing one of the females more attention than the other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of shit, that causes a lot of problems. That's why I feel like it's a little difficult to say that, that things always work out, you know, for the people who do participate in that kind of relationship. Like, okay. think, think of, think of uh, I would, you know, uh, a jealous person. Mm-hmm. I feel like, a jealous person would not be able to participate in that No, absolutely not. A jealous person wouldn't be even be able to really even participate in a fucking threesome. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because the minute it'll be you a see, failed threesome. It'll be a failed, terribly gone wrong type of threesome. Man, but listen. me personally, in the way that I think, I feel like, and it's funny because I was actually having this conversation with um Patricia. And I was telling her, like, me personally, I feel like it's possible to, like, Love more than one person. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like, it, for example, just like you love your mother, you love your father, you love your grandma, you love, you're loving, you're spreading your love to more than just one person. Right. That's family, but love is love, right? Mm-hmm. Love so is it's, it, of course, it's a different type of love, but love to me is love. And you're able to spread that love to more than just one person. I can deeply feel a love and affection for more than one person. Mm. And I don't have to display more attention. I might have a favorite, you know what I mean? But I can easily be able to share that love between, you know, two people or three or four. Mm-hmm. I'm just giving an example. <laughs> Yo, it, it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and that's just my way of thinking. And it sounds crazy, but I feel uh, like it is. So when I hear, I've, I've heard, nature. I've heard someone say know. like, yo, I'm in love with two different people. I feel like that's possible. Yeah. There's a whole stupid ass quote that says, oh, if you love one person and you fall in love with another, you never really love the first one or some dumb shit like that. I'm like, what if you love both of them? No. I think there's a difference between loving someone and being in love with someone. I know that. And I you said can, you can be in love with two you, people. Uh, I don't think you I can. I think you can. Absolutely. That's a, that's a sticky situation. I think you can love one person and be in love with another. I don't think you can be in love with with two people at the same time. I don't. I don't think. You. I don't think one. You can. I don't think. Yeah. I, I'm, I right. was about to. I was just about to say that. I'm gonna speak for myself because I can't speak for everybody. But I don't have the emotional capacity to. Be in love with multiple. I barely got enough to deal with you. <laughs> like, imagine me trying to deal with two. It's not happening. Like, I, I barely got emo- uh, enough emotional capacity to deal with me. Damn, bro, you need a hug. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's why I need a bitch that hug me all the time. You know what I'm saying, because like, I be needing hugs. Yes. So. What are we gonna say, Eli? No, I think I agree with you. I think it's possible to be in love with two people. Or even I more than two people, I think right, it's possible. Absolutely, I um be in love. Yeah, yeah. I don't have the energy. Like, like yeah. yo, I'm I'm totally in love with you, and I'm totally see, in when, love with when you. When people say, "All right, city girl, cross my says I don't have the energy." When you say, "All right," when you're completely at peace and in love, let's say with like a situation with two different women, right, and they know about each other, a throuple relationship. There's not like. Much energy that you would have. I don't want to say not energy you would have to put That's into that, think. but you're say, but sure. I, no, but in a way, right? But that wasn't a successful like throb. I'm talking about a successful people that's able to I mean, pull this it off in two years, but still, it was just no. But the same energy you're giving, you're being reciprocated that energy. Not really. You know not what I'm really. saying? You know, really you know the the reason why I feel like there's a big discrepancy with that is like being able to be in love with two people, I feel like if that's the case, then cheating shouldn't be a okay. thing. That's why like, I- so let's just say, you you said, I can be in love with two people. Mm-hmm. Now, let's just say your man fell in love with somebody else. Mm. That's a problem for you. Problema. That's a problem. 
It's okay. All that shit you talking okay. right now out the window. Nigga, Fuck all that. that. Didn't no, even sound I'm not gonna say. That didn't sound convincing. You didn't even. Y'all haven't even spoken. What you are you talking about? It's okay. It didn't sound. No, convincing. because I'm gonna get behind that. Oh my God. Okay. Fuck I'm saying, like, for example, when I if I meet a dude and I be like, Yo, I'm okay with being in that type of situation. I'm okay with him being in love with somebody else, as opposed. I, I, you know what I'm saying? And being, I'm not as opposed, but being in love with me as well. I wholeheartedly because I do that. because I'm gonna also be in love with that female, yeah, I and I'm gonna be in love with him. <laughs> I'm not in it just because she's cute. If I'm gonna have to be with you, I have to I love, love you. you. I think that's you how need it a works. connection. I think, exactly. I think like, the I got, love has to be a even triangle. though I love women, I gotta connect with my women too. I like I agree with that. I think I that's, that's when it I works. Covered. If I the agree. love is in a triangle, like as opposed to the man being in love with two women, I feel like the woman has to be in love with one another. It has another to be as well. reciprocated. All exactly. You know, all around the triangle, right, the it has piece. to go around. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's when it works. Yeah. That's when it works. Everybody tends to focus on the man and like, oh, does a man love like yo? The women, in my opinion, you gotta be in love too. Like there has to be some type of like connection between you two. If I connect with him and you connect with him, but I can't stand your ass, it's gonna be a problem. Mm-hmm. If he shows you attention. That's now, if I love that. you and you love him and he loves me and I love him and we all love one another, yo, you could show her attention for an entire weekend and leave me the fuck alone. That's nice. And I'm okay with that. Fact. Like that. Fact. That's <laughs> and I'm like okay that. with that. Like, it's all good because I'm confident in my position and the position that I hold in your life. In yeah. both y'all lives. So it's not gonna bother me. But that that type of life is not for everybody. And I've, to be completely honest, I've never been in that situation. I've never been in that, you know, in a thropple relationship or anything like that. But it's a lot. yeah, there's a lot that goes into that. It goes more than just like good looks and sexual attraction, and Facts. it go it goes a lot deeper than that. Who's cooking Trust, tonight? Respect. <laughs> yeah, That's a lot sure. goes Who's into that. Who's cooking right. tonight? That type of shit. But who's watching the kids? I'm not opposed to it. And I don't judge anyone that does it. I'm you know for it doesn't work out for everyone. That's it works out for a lot of people. I know someone in a very successful throuple relationship for many many years. And it was rocky at first, but they, yo, they making rocked it, it work. <laughs> they rocked they it out. They making it work. And it's been about like six plus years. It's a lot of understanding communication in that relationship. I feel like for a long-term relationship, whether it be throuple or whatever the fuck, understanding is the key component. Mm. If everybody has an understanding on all levels, this is this, that is that, things is going to be well. Even when things go bad, things will still be well because everybody has a fucking understanding. Shit, when nobody has an understanding, if there's still disagreements on certain things, that shit is always going to be rocky, bro. What's the word? So, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship you are. You could be in just, you know what I'm saying, a throuple or it's just you and somebody else. Same. It don't don't matter. If there's no understanding, it will not work out. There has to be understanding between all parties. I like that word, understanding. But even yeah. if there is understanding, you guys don't think that, you know, in the long run, like, things just kind of get, for it's, whatever reason. They fizzle out? Things kind of get what? <laughs> this is women. This is women nah, overthinking. Uh, I, Not even. Nah, it's just true. things just, okay, there's a lot. Let's say you start off, right? Mm-hmm. Everything's good. Everything I understanding. Do. You guys get into this relationship, whatever. And things, for whatever reason, you know, I don't know. Lines get blurred. Things get That's fucked where the up. Understanding who, who, comes from. But you had all that blurred. understanding. No, but understanding stems from also understanding the fact that shits are gonna be blurred. Okay. Right. There's not yo. All right. How, all right. Every long term relationship. Let's no, take it into account. Let's go to a couple that's been together for twenty plus years. Right. Shit is boring between them, bro. It's man boring. They did everything already. Stagnant. There's no. There's no spark anymore. It's like I'm used to this nigga already. You know what I'm saying? Comfort. But since there's an understanding between each other, like we're used to each other, they still able to maintain a long-term mm-hmm. relationship. It's still us. But if there's no understanding, if you're still someone wanting that spark, wanting that excitement, you're going to try to get it for someone mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Talk Just to it. get into that excitement Talk for it to it. get boring and then get into another excitement. 
So once you understand, that's why I say understand, nigga. That's the key word of the day. Understand. Facts. Once you understand that shit is the same almost. What I need from you is understanding. Show your age without showing your age. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Eda, I had to do that. It's all good. I was jamming with you. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that ass. If I understand, like, like I just said, if shit gets boring 20 plus years later, and I understand that already from the beginning. I already know, yo, you know what? It's going to be a point in our lives where shit's not going to be the same. It's going to be a little right. boring. If I came to the understanding and once it gets boring, I already knew it was coming. Yep. I feel like women, we like that though. Like, do we really want to think about that? No, the thing is with women, y'all always want the fucking excitement. Yeah, I want the excitement. Y'all niggas All want the, the excitement and the loyalty at the same time. It makes no sense. How you, can you have a loyal ass nigga for so many years if you always want to bounce to the next excitement? Yes. Makes no damn sense. You don't it's either out. you accept the fact that shit gets boring later on with this one person, mm-hmm. or you don't be a relationship type person. You know, either way is good though. Either way is fine. You know what's crazy that I read somewhere a while back that said that women have a higher percentage of cheating in a marriage than a man does. Hell yeah, yeah, I seen that shit too. Yeah, you seen, seen that? Shit, yeah, yeah, I seen that shit. Yeah, just don't get caught. Yeah, because of, and I think you're right, Eli, it's because of that. We're always, yeah, yeah. we always want that spark to be mm-hmm. there. And there's the, nothing in, wrong in the with that. In the relationship, in the marriage, whatever. Yo, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to be out here giving it up to oh, all yeah. type of niggas, whatever, do your thing, have your fun. But the problem that. comes is when you try to get somebody in a relationship or be loyal to you when you're not giving that shit back when, or you when you're not ready for that. And it's okay to not be ready. But if you're not ready, then enjoy yourself. Don't try to impose that shit on somebody else. Like, let's say you out here with mad niggas and I like you and you know I like you. You know I'm feeling you, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm feeling you OD. Now you're taking advantage of me because I'm doing a lot of things for you and all this shit knowing it's not reciprocated. But you let me but do you that know. to you. But yeah, you know. but but he's putting his best foot forward as a gentleman, as Hoping, a man. Because in the back of Hope, my mind, yes. I'm thinking, you know what? I do this, I'm gonna get her. Because we don't got power of the pussy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. But, we don't. We don't. but if that's not being reciprocated, then you got to give it up, son. Right. You don't have to. Because oh, you don't have you to. Should. Hold on. Oh, you don't have to, or you can stay listen, and be a big ass dummy. Listen, but exactly. mama, I'm nah, but, you. but mama always told me like, my mama, my mama said, my mama, persistence pays off. It does. It does. Thin line between p- being persistent and being a dumbass. I'm dead ass. Mm. Yes. Uh, pl- uh, 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 who's yeah. drawing that line? <laughs> We're drawing you gotta it. Have Clearly, we got to control. We don't know where, you, where you're drawing that line. You got to have self respect. <laughs> <laughs> know your worth, King. <laughs> <laughs> know your worth, King. Know your worth. I'm not even showing that I like you, Paul. Why are you out here buying me flowers every week? Yo, that's how we but do it. Sit, Yo, hold know. on, but you see. But this is what I But who asked dislike, you to do like that? that? Yo, oh, but <laughs> y'all, y'all claim to look like gentlemen and want this and this and this and this. But I, it doesn't on, mean I want to see finish, the gentleman out the, of you. Let pl- yes, let the plane land. And I may not know if I'm that gentleman, but how am I wrong or being discredited for being that gentleman. You're not We're being not discredited. You're not being discredited. Okay. Know your worth. I understand if you start off like that, right? The first week, two weeks. Yeah, yeah but you gotta know when to give but it up. you have to know when to give up. Like, it, it's not gonna not happen. Necessary. Yo, listen. So then you that's know, on you. Know, you then you don't know what it's like to be a man. Yo, that's what I'm saying. My man. You don't know what it's like to be a man. I got a good example, right? You gotta come off as a creep three months in. You sending me stuff and I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you that energy. Why you keep showing persistence? I got a good example. I got a very persistent man in my DMs. Slow up. I got a very... Back. Which one? Now Which we're one? back. Now we're back. After I have this. a very persistent man in my DMs. He doesn't come off like a gentleman. He's coming off like a creep at I, this point. I, I think I know what he's talking about. Because he's talking to himself. Yo. I'm not answering you, Bob. Which Why one? do you continue <laughs> Which one? to message me? <laughs> Yo, let me. Let, I got a good example. Is I it the always, same one I showed but you? That's different. Yes. I always, but that's different. To us, it's all the same. Yeah, no, exactly. but but no response to where you actually are giving me some type of response, and me trying to show you, gentlemen, is different. Bro, what type but of y- response? I'm, I exactly. answer your DMs once in a while. Hold on, but this, I answer your no, text no, 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 message no, 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 no. once in a those while. Are, those are the ones I'm trying to differentiate. I'm trying to say like the the ones you do give the energy to, who do give you that type of energy. And the ones who... Define giving my energy. Yeah. 
The energy most women want. What is that energy? Define that energy. I because somebody in my DMs doesn't me, make me hype. Like, oh my God, a fucking message. All right. Yo, not Dora. I All guarantee right. it worked out at some point. All right. A, a dude just trying to show that he's a gentleman, he's this, he's that, he got this, or he got that, or like, what energy he has am I his giving back? Order. That's the energy, my nigga. What energy am I giving you back that allows know. you to continue to do that? I don't know, but what I'm saying is, like, you can't knock a man for being persistent because we don't have the power to be like, After a while, no, it's just creepy. No, 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 for whatever reason, what I don't know, like... My energy that I'm reciprocating is the no. I know. Well, <laughs> persistence pays off. We don't have That's the power to, to, to be like, I want... I want this bitch. I want that bitch. I want this bitch. I want that bitch. Y'all have that power. <laughs> we don't, my nigga. Sorry. So we gonna have to try. If we really want somebody, if we really, we gonna do that. Yeah. Listen, a man will we always try. We gonna do try. that. We'll always try. We're hunters. And I go, I go and use this as an example. Let's look at the fucking praying mantis, right? The praying mantis, the insect. This the nigga bitch. knows the female is ready to cut your head off mm-hmm. once after getting the pussy. Exactly. If if they're not if they're not comfortable or sexually aroused or whatever the case is, the praying mantis like the, this is that I the fact a praying mantis the male will go over the the female massage her make her feel comfortable enough keep trying because he know yo this bitch is ready to kill me oh, and then like, I was about to say and then right? what she do after she get hers. exactly he's like yo I'm gonna try to make her as comfortable as possible I'm gonna keep trying and, then, and hopefully she don't take my head off afterwards and they still. Take Stick their dick in there. Adult. They still go for it. Despite knowing that their life is all the fucking lie. That's no different than a human man. That's what I'm trying That's to say. That's what we're say. trying to say. What, we don't have to lose the power. Okay, but we, still, the head off. we still cut your heads off and y'all still continue to message us. Yeah, so yeah, you can't you're proving go our point. against nature. So you're That's proving our point. No, you're not. No, so we're you're not. We're saying point. it's We don't annoying. have the pick of the litter. We're so trying we're to... picking who we want and we're sticking to our guns. Well, okay, you but you... Yo, I can't. So he's, yo, he's a very good deflector. Yo, for real. Like, very, yeah, very, yeah. very yeah. good deflector and juggler of I'm words. Deflecting nothing. You yo. are, because we're telling you that the persistence doesn't pay off. Exactly. And you're proving the point by saying that we will cut your head off and you guys will still come back after we've done that. We do, we're showing you that we don't want so you. you. Why do you continue you? to come yeah, for guess us? what? The nigga still smashed, though. I was about to. I Uh-oh. was just about to say I opened a four or five DMs yeah, right now. You where cut our heads uh, off, but I, we still got the pussy. Like, like that's just what it comes facts. down for us niggas. Hey, y'all sl- and y'all low key come back around. Who's like, pussy though? Because exactly, yeah, like, I'm like, yo, what are you? Who's giving what? Like, like I said, persistence pays off. So in why some are you being cases. so persistent for somebody you already got the pussy for? It, I'm, I'm not saying for those who you do. Yeah, like, but right. I'm like, where's the persistence, saying, the persistence coming persistence from if you already com- got the pussy? We didn't get the pussy without being persistent. <laughs> but why you continue to be persistent to someone that's not giving you pussy and is not going to give you because pussy? Because that's that how you get are. the fucking pussy. Exactly. It's the whole thing. What if we never are. message you back and you keep on sending messages? That's, that's why I said that's different. When you're not even like getting a. Okay. Uh, so, so what's Anything going on there? That's think harassment. Of, think of a broke nigga taking you to a five-star restaurant. This nigga broke. He can't afford this shit, but he's still wanting to do it because he wants to get, get the, the pussy. pussy. Yo, Fisher, so they giving us 25 scenarios and we still telling like, them no. no it's not gonna you happen. still don't no, get the pussy. He's going to take me to that restaurant and I'm fucking leaving by myself. Thanks for the meal, buddy. No, but my point... Fi- my point now you see why niggas is fuckboys, though. Yo, the now you is, see why niggas point, is fuckboys. And this is why I say... Stay bitch. in your lane. But we don't know what's our lane. Stay you know, in your lane. We don't lane. know what's our lane yeah, until we, we, we teeter in the lane. You don't know what you until like. Until we merge. Right. Well, we send you back to the level before. You don't know what you like? You don't know what's That's your why, lane? No, you don't know what we, you're looking for? We know what we like. You don't know if... That's your lane. Stay in your no, lane. No, no, no. What if I like you? Me? know what you like. Nah, Haiti, don't you do know that. what you're looking don't do for. That. I know Stay what I like. In your you lane. are what I like. You are what I like. Just I'm not because for you. you're just because you're not what I like I'm doesn't not mean you. that this is not my lane. This is not your lane. Mm. Get out my lane. I don't want you. But I you in my lane. I don't want you. Listen, the dotted lines mean Stay I can merge. Stay in the slow lane. The dotted lines mean I can merge. The lines are solid, my nigga. The lines are fucking solid. My solid lines are. Over here, bye. Nah, like I said, I'm my turn <laughs> Nah, but listen, but a nigga don't know. 
no, don't know that he's in the wrong lane until he gets into that lane yeah, or he bro. tries to merge. Swerve back. You can't, you can't knock a nigga for trying to do the that. The cops because, are after this nigga. He needs to go back. Because listen, y'all women like the the. I'm gonna say the the stigma of the the good dude, the nice guy who guy who. No, we attention. don't. Listen, shut the fuck up. Yes, you do. Don't no, don't, don't lie to me. Don't any person that considers right, themselves so when a nice start guy being is, is not a creep. Nice guy. Is a very fucking bad creep. I exactly. Beg to, I beg to differ. When men okay. say nice, they're a nice said, guy, they're not a nice yeah, guy. Exactly. I bet you myself to be that's a That's what I'm saying. I an bet the fucking different. It's for y'all to decipher if that nigga is nice or not. Don't have me tell you what your job is. If I say I'm a nice guy, don't oh, say, oh, God. he's not a nice guy because he said he's a nice guy. Fuck out of here. What type of science are you or math are you doing? So when a woman says, oh, I'm a good woman, you be like, yeah, you're a good woman. I'm going to figure it or out. Or you're going to be like, I hear that shit from I'm every a, woman. I'm going to fucking figure it out. I'm a fucker <laughs> and figure it out. And when you end up with crazy. I I don't have to end up with crazy. They I still have an option after that. I don't have to respond to a man. Oh, I can and we back to square one. Basically. But Here that, we go. But that, but that took my persistence for, to get there. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Ladies Pitch Podcast. That took my persistence to get there. <laughs> yeah. That but took my per- game. B. What I thought was my game. What I thought I was swindling her into. No, she made the decision because of what she thought of me. I had to persi- uh, persistently pursue her until make her f- believe that I am that guy that she wants, and then she that opened sounds, her legs for me. That sounds too Fuck much. Out of that don't sounds open your too legs much. For anybody. That sounds exactly. too much like the fucking caveman approach that a man does. Listen, yeah, for boom, real. I'm gonna beat you with persistence. Boom, 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 boom. So you cave in I and you niggas. fuck me. Fuck out and of then, so and then still be a fuck boy at the end of the day. And then the choice is That's on you. That's it. And the decision it was yours. Regardless, the don't, decision was yours after that it doesn't matter the decision was yours but we did our that persist- shit does that persistent it shit does matter. so women does comes it? off creepy after a certain I get point what you, I, trust me i get what you're saying you but clearly you, don't no but you're not <laughs> yeah, you're not real. putting yourself I, I trust me i get it i grew up with women my whole life <laughs> But my mom also told me persistence pays off. But not, not for all everything, time. my I dude. A, I have a good track record. I'm going to just put That's that down. That's not for good. I have a very good track record. <laughs> all right, you attract Without coming off creepy. If you don't know how to come off, not come off creepy, that's on you. The woman might... Listen... Persistence pays off. As a man, it does. Yo, we don't have that power. You know what? Period. I'm gonna double back down on that a little bit. I think persistence pays off for us good looking niggas. That's exactly. that, honestly. Cause I feel like if you're an ugly ugly dude with not too much game and you still on her like that, she's never gonna You gotta good. know how to I, maneuver. But that's why I say but girls want the nice you... guy, but if he don't look like this, look like the part, act like the part, be the part, this that the part, he's not a good candidate. You know what's the thing about part? But you if, use that word part. You know what parts playing plays, and that's acting. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? You see what the fuck I'm no, saying? Nigga, Play my part. That. Playing this part. Pa- playing parts is part of acting and plays, and that's not you. That's not a person being the real you. So if you're a nice guy, you move like a nice guy. You don't got to tell me you're a nice guy. But that is the part. No. Whether I tell you or not, maybe you're oblivious to like not understanding what the fucking part is. You might want this, that, and the third. I'm, 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 I'm checking off all boxes, and you still like a third. Well, call me. Stevie but I, but I want the pussy anyways. Oh, so I'm gonna continue to persist, and I'm gonna get the pussy, and then you're gonna call me a fuck boy afterwards. But then the the decision was yours ultimately, which makes you the fuck whatever the fuck. This it is. is why I don't date. Not, this is why yeah. I don't date Just because men a- really play the part really fucking well. Yeah, don't like too. they play. The, don't, don't say y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say y'all. Yeah. Y'all yeah, no as a women's part. species. Y'all yeah, don't no, say y'all. I'm not yeah. saying any of you in the room. Yeah, I'm like I'm don't say y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. As a women's species, do play the part. Y'all yeah, do like. And those are the women on. that you've attracted no, that no, you speaking from experience. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I the dude that does persist and does do this, be like, yo, I take you out this and that. The the girl will be like. He's not the dude, but I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this that he's he's offering because I'm hungry today. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? He's a good dude, but you're taking advantage of because he's not that guy for How you. How do I know he's a good dude? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly my point. Exactly. How you do I know he's a good dude? You don't even take the time to find out if he's a good dude. You just say, oh, he's ugly? He's not a good dude. Oh, he lives with his mom. He's right. not a good. Oh, wait, that's wait, not wait, the guy on. for me. Hold on. Oh, this, that, and the third. It's it's just it's just a certain <laughs> stigma of 
So yeah, so yeah, take y'all go out with ugly women that y'all find ugly. Uh, I fucked uh, ugly uh, women. Uh, uh, you I fucked. Actually, Have you dated actually, ugly women? Honestly, I actually don't gotta, put that's the two. That's subjective because I've had girls tell me like, "Yo, she's not that cute," and I'm like, "You're bugging. You're hating." I actually had. I ain't gonna lie. When high school, I went out with this Indian chick, <laughs> and she wasn't as you know what I'm saying. She wasn't the baddest around. I ain't gonna hold you. She was. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, yeah, what attracted me was a lot of how she was. It wasn't really just her appearance. It was just she no. Was that a happens. Yeah, I've been guilty of that too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I've I've dated ugly women. I would say yeah, I, it's happened. Why are you over here snickering, like, laughing? Nah, because I know he's talking, I know. I know yeah, that story, happened to though. me, too. Like, yeah, I've been with, like, I've been with a guy that, you know, he wasn't, I wasn't physically attracted to him. Oh, shit, what, 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 what got you Was it the persistence? It no. was not the persistence. It was the actually getting to know him outside of just, like, physical. Yeah, was but it, he's ugly, so well, I know you was wait, dumping him at but first. But was the persistence of getting to know him there? There was, was never it, any. There was never any pressure. Or I know he was hitting you up. Don't, don't, don't misconstrue pressure. There wasn't. With persistence. There wasn't. Pressure is persistence. Did you hit you up? Man. Good morning. Yes. No, he Things didn't. Things like that. Did you no. hit him up? Good morning. No, it was so a how genuine. Y'all got to fucking. It was a genuine friendship, bro. Like, but he was on you first. There was no chasing of anything. She's it was just a friendship. He was on you. Yo, yo. Haiti, Haiti, Haiti. Listen, listen. I guarantee you <laughs> said he was in that. You want me to he, fall in the hole so bad. You said so he bad. was kind of ugly, right? He was kind of ugly? Was he kind of He ugly? was not my type of dude. Okay, so ugly. I guarantee off the back, he wasn't as interested. Mm-hmm. So it I was the, not. Exactly. So there it took go. his persistence. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure he was It was inbox. not persistence because it was not like. So what gauge your, what, 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 what gauged your attention? What made you be it like, okay, just, you know what, I'm going to give this It was a just hanging out with him, having conversation, right, like the way he thinks, the, the way he moves. Out. But they were friends. Who was exactly. initiating? Exactly. It was but, just a friendship, but bro. who was like, initiating the hanging out? Who was hitting who up to hang out? It wasn't you, my nigga. We I guarantee that. We didn't have a choice. We were around each other. So we had to, like, be around one another. Heard you, heard you. Say That's that, it. That, that. We had I to be it. around one another. We're forced I get it. to be around one another. Yeah, but, and but, it was, but when it came to the person to be like, yo, let me take you out tonight. Outside. Who was For that? me, I'm okay. Who was that? Eli, and you know this, B, you know this. Mm-hmm. I'm very much like a conversationalist. So if I have one good conversation with you, I'm like, all right, this person, I can hold the conversation with them. I'm going to come back and I'm going to try to like talk to you, see like where your head is at with certain issues going on. Like, can we talk? Can we talk more about other things, not just what the fuck is going on in the shade room? Can we talk about what's going on in the world? Can we talk about this, this, and then you start, we start engaging in conversation, and then I start seeing a different side of you because I, you start opening up. We start talking about other things, and I'm like, I like the way this person thinks. This person starts looking more attractive to me. Who's engaging the conversation? I'm more, more than likely me. Okay, fair enough. More than likely me. You know, that's it. That's just how it goes. Like, there's never any pressure an, from each. You're an anomaly, I guess. I'm not. I don't want to make it seem like that because I know my fuckers be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying for me, that's a huge thing. Like, you I'm, might not be the best looking person in the fucking room, but if you can hold the conversation, best believe you're going to have my attention more than right. anyone else that you're lives right. 10 times as better as I'm you. I'm just speaking of the consensus of, of most women. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm excluding both of y'all because I know both of y'all on a personal level. But Thank you, sir. On the surface, you're welcome, ma'am. Um, <laughs> on the surface level, on most dudes is have that ideology of the surface woman. And most women have that ideology of the surface man, which is ancient nigga, and she's a gold digger, like Kanye said back in the days. And we, we, we both try to like navigate through those waters. Men got to do a little bit more, my nigga. Period. And like, it takes a little bit of persistence to get there. But do you think that dude that? <laughs> it takes a little bit of persistence to get there, my nigga. A couple no's may turn into a yes after a while, and business. Couple knows turn somebody's gonna say yes. That somebody might be the same no the same person that told you no two, three times. I agree. So So you think the dude that I showed you that was in my 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 DMs, you think that that was cool? Like him being so persistent? Did you did he ever it's get a, a did way. he ever get a reply? That's what we're talking Only about. No. That's what together. I'm saying. I'm differentiating the ones that didn't get a okay. you could rewind grew, this shit. Uh, we grew up on the same block, and that's the only reason well, he Well, yeah, have rapport then. And he may feel like he ha- He might feel, you don't know what he feels, but he might feel like he has a right to 
talk to you a certain way. A certain way. How? Or I maybe said, just talk to you, period. Me, you may not want to talk to him at all. I don't, and I've made that clear. Right, you got him on your on your socials? Nah, he's blocked now. All right. I, now, well, did you well, have I, him on, I, the, on your socials I knew before? I from childhood, and then, well, then like, you recently gave him he started. a platform to, to oh, do what please. he thought what? he was. What? Nah, right, that sounds fucking on. ridiculous. It's our fault now. Oh, we got our what I'm saying is, like, if you're on, on a social media platform together, if you're letting him see the inside of your life, then... That's not my life. Exactly. Like, That's just right, my well, social then, well, life. Then, all right, well, then you letting him comment or, or whatever. You letting him privy to your social life. Then he might feel like he... Has, has a, the right has to. Has access to your social life because that's what you choose to to promote. Oh, please. I'm not saying it's right and I'm not I'm not on his side. I'm just saying oh, this please. is how a lot of guys see certain shit because a lot of guys don't have power to pussy weight. I could be like, I'm not fucking with him. I'm not going to the movies with him. I'm not going to eat with him. Look at this nigga. Look at that nigga. Look at how he dressed. Look at who he lived with. Look at this. Listen and that. that boils down to how we started the episode of why I feel like men hate women. They hate the fucking fact that we have power of the pussy. We don't hate that. That's yeah, it. I do. Yeah, I do. No, 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 no. Yeah, I do. We hate. Yeah, we, I hate that. We don't. I, I'm not going to. I'm not even going to say we. I learned that lesson. Hold on. I, I don't you hate that. You ain't French. Yeah, I don't hate that. But a lot of men do hate. Not hate, I wouldn't say hate that. It's it's just it's just another roadblock for them, and that's all it is. It's like another hurdle for them. It's like it's already hard enough to get pussy as it is. Y'all putting up all these other hurdles. It's like make a U turn. It's it, <clears throat> how many U turns we gonna fucking make, my nigga? As See, many as is, you need to make. But this, Daddy is what else, I, but, this is, but this is what I mean. We don't have that power. You're that's my that's point. unfortunately so that's then you not can't, our fault. So then you can't fault the man with persistence. <laughs> that's not our fault. We can't fault. fault the man with persistence. Leave me that, alone. Hold on, we can't fault the man with persistence <laughs> that ends up getting you to fold after a couple of DMs. Oh, wow. And I'm and not after, a folder. Hold on, let me let me let, let the plane land. She speaks for herself. I fold like a pretzel. After a couple of conversations, if you feel like, oh, this dude is actually pretty cool. This actually, this guy is actually pretty funny. He has a personality. He may not be the best looking guy in the world, but he has all these other boxes see, that I, I would that like to hold up. Let the fucking plane land. No. If he checks off all the other boxes, you can't just like discredit one box. See, but that's different. I mean, like, if somebody's just being persistent and being fucking annoying, that's different. I differentiate those people already, But if I'm actually saying, already, like, Fisher. okay, cool, conversation, I could look past certain things. All right, and that's what gets us one step closer to the fucking pussy. But that's not persistent. But that's persistence, man. No, it's not. Because <laughs> I'm engaging be, in that. Like, be getting all right, so passionate. All right, all right, all right. All right, I send you three DMs. You don't respond to the, the first three DMs, but you respond to the fourth. And after the fourth DM, we continue to... I'm not responding. Guess to what no one? DM. Guess what one? My persistence. My persistence. I'm not responding because to you no got a good morning bag. Y'all some cheap man. I said a good morning. I said no. a conversation. Y'all Yo, some bro, let's cheap. Just say it's they get the good morning. Get, good morning. You hear that fish happen. show? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Their hold panties on. get wet when we respond good morning. Yeah. Hold on. Let's just say. Let's just say we got the good morning, right? Let's just say we got it. You got we the didn't get it surface <laughs> level. Surface <laughs> level. Hold on, hold on. You got Shit. it. Shit. No, hold on. I say let's good say, morning to people on the street. Hold on. Exactly. Like that. Don't do that. Let's say that conversation. That's that. Let's say we got the good morning. We didn't get the good morning before. And That's one yo, step closer. I was feeling extra jolly that morning, and I responded matter. with a good morning. Now I'm feeling, feeling extra persistent, persistent this morning. Exactly. It doesn't matter. See, so that's, Fuck out of here. That's why when men get played with and toyed with, don't be mad at us when we use you for food and all that type but of shit. But you ain't have to say good morning. And you didn't have why to not? be in my DMs every morning. Exactly. With no response, and you got one on the fourth try. you see why you got fuckboys. boys. And you now got you one, see why you got fuck boys. You got yeah, one. We have women like this who don't talk time, about it. Oh you time, got one. You see why we got fuck oh boys, but you'll see why we got gold diggers and yes, women who take advantage. Yes. I think oh it goes both ways. God. Like that's why it goes back to the understanding, my nigga. It goes back to the understanding. I'd rather if be understood both parties than on the same level, we ain't dealing with this Facts. bullshit. What you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta be persistent. Understanding. 
Look, I ain't gotta be persistent, and you ain't gotta be an asshole or Facts. whatever, or you ain't even gotta take advantage of me because there's a fucking understanding. Or you could just block me. What? What's the point of? All right, what's the point of the the dude being mad persistent on your page that you don't block? You obviously want that kind of, of attention somehow, some okay. way. Let me give you an example. You could just block that, and you won't have that persistent. Let me give you one example. But you're not gonna answer that. Uh, I am going to answer right, that. Cool. I'm going to tell you what's the point, right. right? Cause men and women as different as we are, when it comes to a lot of things, we think the same, right? For us women, a lot of women, right? It's kind of like the way you guys keep convenient pussy around, right? You keep it there. Cause you could use it whenever you want to use it. Same thing. If we see a loophole where we can use a man for whatever we could use him for to our convenience, we're going to occasionally answer him. Period. If that's all it takes, a, a couple of good mornings, a couple of responses. You know what I'm that. saying? So at this point, it's like, are you really knocking us because you let not, yourself be used? Not, not it's that, you. not our problem. Not, exactly. I'm not that you were you, able, you I was to... able to get a couple of meals from you without really giving much energy. It's like a bitch not really, a, a, a dude not really giving you much energy and you doing all this shit for him. Like, ma, he don't even want you. You just convenient pussy and you do whatever you do for him at the time. Same thing with us. Like, not even because we don't even be giving the pussy. We don't out. even be. Sometimes we don't even gotta get the pussy. We get what we want. You see yeah, how convenient that is? You, you get giving the pussy. But you, but you, you see how beautiful. convenient that is? It's uh-huh. yes. called power of the pussy. Yep. Exactly. And this Sorry. is again what I'm saying why men be mad Sorry. because we got that. That's not our fault. It's just, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Period. There's a lot of things that we not going to get our way that you men got an advantage over on us. Not much. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You say, yo, I feel like women be the most hypocritical motherfuckers. Y'all sit here talking about this how the cookie crumbles. Let us sit here talking about how men do shit and how that's how the cookie crumbles. And niggas be like, nah, niggas ain't shit. Niggas is this and that. And you guys do do that. <laughs> you so guys that's do how it. the fucking cookie we crumbles. Hear it right? We hear cookie it out. crumbles. It's our decision whether we're gonna fucking fuck with you or not. Exactly. And, cool. and what is that called? I've been saying this from the day I've been I, I joined the fucking podcast. It's called power of the pussy. We don't got that, so we gotta go extra. God bless the bitch. Period. Sorry. We have to go extra. We do. How if many- we want if we want somebody who's out of our league and maybe out of our league, but you don't you shoot shoot a shoot. What's that to you call? miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Genre, bad bitch genre. Yo, like, fuck out yo, of here. y'all can't do that. <laughs> you got a good nigga. He could, he could love you, make you feel special, everything you you fucking desire. But currently, he's broke. You going after him? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna okay. answer that for him. No, hold on a second. Rewind that. Yeah. That's the- <laughs> a nigga could put provide- her broke and she was like, wait, hold right. up, rewind. No, I just want to make sure I, I understand the question before I answer. A nigga could provide a lot of things except financial stability as of right now. Are you going after that? And yet, in this time of your life, are you going after that? I think I know her answer so bad. Uh, I want to blurt it out right now. He can provide everything else for me except financial? Stability as of right now. Like, as of right as now. As of right now. Okay, I'm going to say yes, I will, mm-hmm. because I can fina- financially take care of myself. Facts. So I, I'm not in a, in a financial hole where I need a man to take care of myself. Same. No. Yeah, I'm able to financially take care of myself, so I don't... Like the only, what I need from you is definitely not financial. So right, if you do if, provide that, all right, so then that's great. Substitute the financial for what you need, and he don't provide. Oh no, then then that's not. But he's not happening. All, but he checks all other boxes. He doesn't check any box that I need. No, he checks all other boxes. He just don't check that box. What box? That particular box, whatever box it may be. I don't know. That I'm might that box that might box. be very important. Yeah. Whatever box it may be. That might name, be the most name, important. Yo, check, name the most important all, box to check yes. out for men. Tell me right now. Right now. Damn, y'all putting me on yeah, the seat. Now tell me, tell me. Because you're talking spicy right because now. Because niggas need, niggas need to check out multiple boxes. Fuck. But for you as a person. I can't give out the blueprint. Who's, who's, what's the number one box a nigga uh, to check uh, out? Uh, 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 oh, one of the snitch. top three. Top don't, three. Say the, don't, say, don't say the top. One of the top three. Yeah. Don't snitch on yourself. Yeah. Right, I'm like, one yeah. of the top three. Let the then they're gonna nigga. be in my DMs. They have to like they know me. Man, man, yeah. just be like, Yo, man I persistent. <laughs> like, I was listening to that podcast. Persistence doesn't uh, get you the pussy on this end. Man, right? Tell me, one of your top um, three. Man. Top three, one of them. Emotional uh, availability. Mm. 
Okay, all right. Yes. Let's say he gives everything but emotional availability. Everything else. Nah. Everything, everything else, man. Everything on point. Everything nah. else on point. Nah. No. It's not going to work. You see, I think that's the that's problem that. when it comes to women. Yes. Like, y'all could... Yep. A man could check out all the boxes, but yep. y'all would discredit all that yep. shit if he's not if checking he out check that one, one box. box. Bro, you know emotional is? We, availability we, is very important. Yeah, I don't want to be with somebody Why would you want to be with someone that's like... Because I'm you're very, not gonna, hold on, hold on. gonna get the full list checked out, bro. I'm a hold very on. emotional person. He can grow person. to be emotionally like, available bro, to you. Bro, I am 37 knows, years old. On, I don't got like time to raise that. a man. Right. Hold on, a lot. Okay, a nigga don't love. A nigga can't love the. A nigga, I can't. I don't hold love. On, right, I don't hold on. to raise a man. Real fast. Real fast. Well, you're not raising a man, but you're that teaching a man how to basically. love you because you can't. You can't. You can't love the. You can't love That's your, a psychopath. Hold on, you cannot love your present the way you love your ex because your ex is your fucking ex. Okay. You cannot do the same mistake twice. <laughs> Why are you yelling? Because y'all y'all, y'all <laughs> capping right now. Y'all really capping. No, no we're not. <laughs> like, Yo, really... you know what's crazy? That they want you to to, to, to do this shit. Oh, you be have to learn how to love me. Boom, 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 boom. But they not willing to do none of that exactly. shit with a woman. Exactly. They will not even stick up. Bitch gotta go. No, don't they won't even, in, hold on, don't put all of us in that same box. They, not even, put, be put they, in the they same will box. not even stick around if a woman calls them 10 times in a row. Yep. They want to be out. Clipper. That's Stop it. it. But all of a sudden, or you need to learn how much. to love me or she cries too much. Y'all Come on, that? bro. Yeah, Come on, that. bro. We going to do it. But all of a sudden, we got to learn. But all of a sudden, we got to learn how to love them and teach them how to love us. Bro, I'm not raising no man. Right? So if you, if you lack That's one problem, of the... If you, be, if you lack one of the key components that I'm looking for in a man, you like can. emotional availability, I'm you not your go. goal. Seek therapy. If you lack emotional availability, that means that you are not go ready that. to be in a that relationship. Yo, go seek help before you try to that get means into I'm a relationship. Like emotional availability, and you might be the one that might be emotionally like. And you that, know what? That feels that I emotional can, uh, unavailability. You know what? I but could, you're not giving me that option. Women have that women have spent years with that same mentality that you're mentioning. Learn how to love me, and and I can you can end up being emotionally available to a woman. Women have spent years with a man trying to. Peek through right. that and, and not you, and get you, anywhere. And you might be right, and you might be right. So I'm gonna take away the emotional availability. That was your your thing. I'm just speaking of gen- women in general. Just like you said, just that one box. He checks every other fucking box ever that you wanted ever in your fucking life. One fucking box access him out. Yeah. That's enough for you. Meanwhile, we don't have that luxury to... Because hold on, hold on. We don't have the luxury to check off one box and be like, damn, I might have missed out on my soulmate because I checked off this one box. Maybe I need to learn how to love you. That's why I said, do you teach a man how to love you? You can't... A man... The way a man loved his ex is not the same way he could love his present or his future. They don't... Yeah, it's not the same language. It's not the same love language. It's not the same. It's not the same thing. So you might have to teach him subconsciously, not like put him in the fucking class and give him notes or whatever, but like walk him through. Like this is what I need. This is how I need to be loved. This is how that is what talking phase and and dating phase is for. But if you're saying if you're going to ask him out because he's already emotionally unavailable off the rip, is you're saying you're not giving him that platform to do that. No, because you're that's not a- giving him that chance. You said he checks off all other boxes, but because he's unemotion- um, emotionally unavailable, which you will understand from the rip, you will get that from the rip. B, because Be- that's a key component to me. I, I need that. you that's to already you. come saying, forward I'm with that. It you, but even mama. if it's not that, whatever key component is for whatever woman, that's what she needs. But you can teach in a man him, him that. Jump. You Bro, can teach him that. Yeah. Or walk, or walk. That's what the talking stage. Like you said, what, no. that's what the talking stage is about. But there's a different. No, talking on, stage is for other. learning. Not exactly. teaching. Hold not on. teaching. Hold on. The learning stage is. You can't learn without somebody teaching. That's a fact. You can't learn that. without you a can't teacher. Have one without the other. So I'm learning saying, as in communication, okay. expressing that's your you love teaching. languages. That's you teaching. Mm-hmm. Expressing your that's love you languages teaching. to one another. That's you teaching. No, because that's something that you already no, have. Listen, Hold on, learning, wait, 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 wait. But you could teach wait, a nigga. Wait, wait, this wait, is wait. what I need. Wait. 
Just like the way a nigga be like, that's I need communication. But that's still teaching, yeah, baby. That's still teaching. Falls into teaching and learning. What do you oh do when you go no. into a classroom? A, a teacher disagree. stands in front of you and tells you what the lesson is and what you need to. <laughs> Why he's a, he's a, he won't even uh, see, he won't even teach a woman how to suck his dick if she don't know how to suck his dick. And he want to talk about teaching? Fuck out of here, B. I don't tell you how. I he like won't it. he want to teach us to teach a man emotional intelligence, but Hold he on. won't teach a woman how to suck his dick if she checks everything <laughs> off but can't suck his dick. I would teach, fuck out of here. I would teach dick. her how I like it. I, w- I can't teach her how to and suck dick. And then you'll cheat on her for another bitch that know how to how suck dick. I like it. Period. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to uh, hear none yeah. of that. Now you just being dismissive. I don't want to hear none of that. Because you're capping right now. Because you're capping. Right 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 Am I supposed to teach a woman how to suck? No, I'm supposed to teach her how I want my dick sucked. I'm going to tell her I like it wet, I like it sloppy, I like deep throat. And if you don't do that, then the, then we're going to have so another conversation. What? I'm going to tell my man he needs to be emotionally available. And if he's not, then he can kick rocks. Right, Same way. Cool. That's just, it. I, and I was I, again. I was taking it off for of you, and I was just putting it on in general women who <laughs> who say I want this, 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 and this, and this, but he don't meet this, and he's axed out completely. Yo, and this her, this her, this her, this her shit. This her, mute your mic. Mute your mic. Yo, yeah. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yo, wait. Listen, but I what make you just point, said, I just Yo, games. I'm dying because what you thought you, you was gonna get Haiti hype and you hype one. When we started, points, and I know niggas is gonna understand what I'm saying. Oh. When we started this recording session, his agenda was to get me hyped today, and I told him, "Yo, you're not gonna get me hyped tonight." Yo, hold up, but what you just said falls under teaching. If you're saying to a nigga, "Yo, you gotta be this way, or I won't be with you." You teaching him a lesson. Him to, you just taught him how, how to, to sustain a relationship with okay. you. Okay. When people start to get get to know one another, right, in the talking phase, and you start, you know, talking with one another, what you're looking for, blah, 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 we're going to pick up from the jump, whether you're emotionally available or not, mm-hmm. just from what you tell us or from what we're picking off, off of you. All right, but now, the thing is... Now, me, me personally, because we're talking about me, he asked me the question, mm-hmm. me, at the age that I am in, in the phase that I am in my life, I do not have the time nor the energy to teach... I can teach you how to love me. I can teach you my love languages. Mm-hmm. Yes, I love words of affirmation, life acts of service, or whatever, whatever, but... When it comes to emotional, you know, you can do all of that, right? You can be an active service type of man. And mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. But you can also be non-emotional, very cold, very, you know, detached. Yeah. I'm not into that. I like an affectionate man. I love an emotional man. Mm-hmm. That's not going to work for me. I'm not. I, that's just not going to work. So if you like a woman that does, you know, uh, 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 what's up? One of the other ones, physical time or. Yeah, a then, physical or um, what's one of the love languages? Um, time or whatever, quality time, and I can't provide that to you because I'm working twenty four seven. That's not gonna work for you. There's nothing you can do that can teach me to be there for you because I, you met me as a fucking workaholic. Yeah, Why are you trying to change me? The thing is, is like what you're asking for is a nigga already made. That's never gonna be the case. Never. There's never going to be a man you ch- that you meet that's going to check every single box. I'm not looking oh, for that. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just yeah, saying. I'm not I'm looking saying. for that. So then you wanted to teach always going to be you. imperfection. There's always going to be teaching that's applied, no matter what it is. Even even the shit you're saying right now, the things you're talking about right now, there's teaching there's in teach, there, bro. There's a lesson. There's teaching in there, right? right? So if you're not willing to try to open up and show what you want from a person to the person you're dealing with, then I feel like then you're not ready for that. Commitment. But you don't feel like there's a difference between opening up and showing him what your love languages are, as opposed to. I lost my train of thought. As opposed to teaching him, that's what I was going to say. As opposed to to sticking around in five, six, seven years down the line, no, that no, no, you you no, trying no, to teach no, this man crazy, no, no, how. Crazy. But that's what has, that's the reality. The opening stages, like, Be, but that's the reality of it. A lot of women stick around with some type of beacon well, of hope that the man is going to learn how to love her properly and check all her boxes. And Deal it doesn't work decision. that way. Deal with your decision. Exactly. Then. And I but choose not state, to. But in the, uh, 
But, but you, you talking see what about, I'm saying? You just then, said six, seven years down the line. I'm talking about the courting stages when you're getting into it with, with, with somebody. You talking to somebody is a learning lesson, is a teaching stage. If she don't like fucking Star Wars, you're not going to take her to see a fucking Star Wars movie. That's a lesson you learn, my nigga. Okay. That was so, you teaching. If you start off saying you don't like 90 Day Fiance, she can't teach you how to like 90 Day Fiance? You can learn how to like 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> my point. Why Thank you for dreading my point. Oh, honestly, my Thank relationship... My, down rela- and you'll see. No. my relationship is a good example. Like, my girl came in a certain way, and now at this point, she's not that way. Mm-hmm. It's because... She realized, you know what? In order for me to have this man in my life for a long period of time, I got to be able to do these things. So she did those things. And that was because I was I was able to teach her that this is what I want. You know what I'm saying? From life and whatever, and from a relationship. And vice versa. I work accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Like, Some things are a lot easier to teach than others. First of all, you have right, to be. But that's where the love you have comes to from, be. Bro. You have to be open minded in wanting to receive don't, those type of teachings, right? But don't look at the. Don't look at it as like. Be, I'm but you, you have down in class, to putting something I, on a chalkboard. Type I understand of, that, but a nigga something that's into like, you is gonna learn with you teaching and subconsciously you not knowing that you teaching. And if you don't got the patience, then you tell him that you like blue is you teaching. And Mm -hmm. if he buys, there's different levels of trying to teach someone something like, but that's what I'm saying. But when it comes to emotional availability, I'm not teaching you how to love me. I'm teaching you how to fucking open up to fucking love me. Like, I what's wrong with that? What's that's that's my point. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? You, you, the way I loved my last bitch, it didn't work. Why am I going to do the same mistake twice? And not only that, that's that, that's like a trophy for yourself. Insanity. That's a trophy for yourself. Like I look at myself as, yo, my girl, I made her better. I made her better, and I consider that a trophy for myself. There's that's nothing that's wrong that's with cool. trying to of making somebody better. You know what I'm saying? Or, or or teaching them different ways. That there's they can... nothing wrong with that, but with there's Listen, certain things, you can't love there everybody are the certain same things way, that are teachable, and there are just some things that are not. There's, there's some things that are very simple. You can walk up. You can lead the someone, horse towards the water. You can't make them drink. Exactly my point. So you, you can can't teach them a lesson, anyone. but that don't mean they're going to learn it or you not. Can't. But you can teach them the lesson. You choose not to. And so you choose not to have them love you the way you want to be loved. And if you choose to try to continue to teach the same lesson for six years, like you said, then your lesson your is wrong. That's your, your fault. Your lesson is wrong. You're continuing... For years and but years. that's what I'm saying. But that's the reality of a lot of things that women face. No, right. a lot of these relationships right. where they, right. you know, what I'm saying they want to try to teach a man. Oh, eventually he's gonna get it. Some men are slow. They you, get they gonna get it a, a little later. Learn, blah blah blah. All right, but you that's can't. but those that's just a gamble. Life you might be gamble, thinking you might be thinking that this man wants to learn Listen, because he's so, so he checks out all your other boxes, life is but a he gamble, don't check that nigga. main box that you looking for. Life is a gamble, my nigga. Life is a crapshoot. And I'm not I'm not a gambler. Yo, my nigga, yes, crazy. you are because you live life. I don't life. gamble. You I don't life. gamble. I don't gamble. It's crazy you live know, life. Every day is a gamble, I don't, my nigga. I don't gamble. Listen, <laughs> I know a lot of people that's been with people that check the main box, but it still don't work out. Don't check all the other boxes. Why not? Why not? Why in, it still don't work out, bro? Hold on, but then that's why the nigga goes to the other bitch that checks that one box that he that that, that ain't been checked, and then he's wrong. And then why? Why did he do that? See, that's the question. That's where. It comes and then he's wrong. It's human nature. Uh, yo, listen, you could downplay that I didn't shit. Check you your want? one box, and I wasn't a contestant on the Price Is Right because I didn't check one box. Yo, they, and then if you want to bring those signs, let's say these signs get together. Shit still doesn't work out. Why? Why doesn't it work out? I don't know. Maybe why? there wasn't a lesson taught. Maybe somebody didn't learn something that somebody didn't teach. Okay, now you got know. the guy with the emotional availability. Now you got him. And then y'all broke up all of a sudden. But he, don't check, he didn't check off the other he boxes. He has the main box that you want to check out. What he the did, fuck happened? He didn't check the other boxes. Exactly. 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 Oh and then we persistent and then we wrong. And then we wrong. Listen. Because we can't, we don't, we, we can't possibly check every fucking box because 
Women are impossible to completely make 100% happy. And yes, I said it. I That's stand on that. Yo, I was telling them that. Stand yeah. on that. I was telling them at work. I said, you give a woman the world, she asks she for the stars. No, you give a woman the world, she want to be the president of your one little island that you asked for. No, don't come over here. Like, I gave you the whole fucking world. My island is my island. You still want to be the fucking president. You still want to be the prime minister. You still want to fucking be the governor. You still want to be the fucking mayor. You still want to be... No. Yes. Know Listen, I mean? I'm the president of the island whether you know it or not. Well, see, exactly. That's it. I'm there. I'm the president of the island whether you know it or not. I'm the silent president. I'm the president. I'm not going to tell you that I'm, that I'm the president. Yeah, you know what my That's mother it. used to say? And she actually said this to Norma. Yeah, she said this is normal to my girl, right? She said, yo, listen, your yeah. money is your money. His money is your money, 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 money. too, nigga. Like, yo, it's yeah, like, it's that's it. Yeah. Like, I'm going to make it seem like you pulling all the strings. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in reality, like I'm, the I'm the puppet, puppet master. master. Okay? I don't like that's that. It. And I don't like... And yo, bro, where does it stem from? The power, the power of the pussy. pussy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have that shit. Shout out to all my ladies Sorry. with the pussy. That's why we persistent. We go out our way. That's what we do. Niggas go to war for pussy, bro. Right. Shout out to all the men that now have pussies because you got all the power. He said men make the... Men run the world, but pussy make, make it go round. round. They make it go round. That's a fact. It's a fact. Nigga said, I get up early in the morning, dress nice, smell good, because I want to be attractive towards women. It's a man's world. We got to go out our way. <laughs> we got, that's why the saying is, is the saying is real. Happy wife, happy life. I, I hate that. I was just about to Woo! say that. Yo, I don't like that it, saying because there's no, there's no husband involved in that that's equation. But, but it goes back to what she was saying. Reality It's true. You will live a miserable life if your wife if is your not, wife happy, is not my happy, my nigga. You will be fucking miserable, But you bro. will still be miserable like if that. you're not happy and your wife is. Exactly. So but guess, a, but guess, guess, a happy husband, happy but whatever. Guess, uh, 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 we don't but have guess that standard. What? We don't have that standard. We don't, we have, don't have that. But guess why you're not happy? Why? Because Persistent happy. drove you into my DMs to say good morning four days in a row. And here. I wouldn't answer you. And now you're my husband and now you're miserable. Thank you guys for tuning husband. in to the Ladies Bitch Podcast. <laughs> you already know. This is your favorite mommy, Haley Baby, signing out. And this is, yo, fuck the BBWs, yo. I love y'all big bitches. I, I swear to God, I love y'all big bitches. Um, this is the BBW ambassador emphasis on the ass, also known as the, the, the rag daddy emphasis on the D. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, review Facts. the podcast on all streaming platforms Facts. on Instagram, ladies pitch on Twitter, pitch Facts. 718. Thank you, Eli, City of Correspondent, for Facts. joining us. Yeah. This is very spicy, very fun conversation, but as always, it's all in fun. We love all you guys. Thank you for tuning in. You Peace. already know. Thanks for tuning in to Ladies Pitch Podcast. Make sure to subscribe on all streaming platforms. Find us on Instagram at Ladies Pitch and follow us on Twitter at Pitch 718. See y'all next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.